Harsha. We are blessed and honored to have him as our leader um, of our uh, leader of the flock to help us get um, closer to the Lord. Our order of service today will have a call to worship, an opening song, um, and then prayer by Deacon Tony. So uh, we'll have a call to worship now by uh, Reverend Tyler.
what I would call the ingenuity to operate and maneuver through technology, but they do have Wi-Fi and they do have internet and they can go to that website. And when they go to that website, our services are there, our YouTube channel is there, our Facebook icon is there. And therefore, we are now worldwide. Let's give God praise to be worldwide, praise God. So they can view that. And we wanted to make sure that everybody can hear the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. You should not be limited to just a few. And so we thank you for doing that. I'm going to, amen, decrease, get out of the way. And uh, let me say to the Antioch Church family and to all of you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for what you have done what you have allowed me to do for 22 years through the storm and through the rain and uh, through the sickness and through the pain. Through it all I'm still standing. And so we thank God for you. We thank God for the families that have been touched, the ministry that we have provided in spite of it all. Even in moments when I was at my lowest, God elevated me to do what I needed to do in order to minister to this church. We also want to thank all of our family and friends and others who will be traveling and coming this way and driving through late on today. We want to thank you for your unwavering support. You can go to our website, not only our website, but you can download the Giblify.com app on your mobile device. That's www.Giblify.com, G-I-B-E-L-I-F-Y.com safe and secure and you can submit your donations as you see fit as the Lord is leading you or you can come at the physical address here at the Antioch Church at 428 Ferguson Street and so I'm going to bring Sister Jessica what are we doing I hope she's going to come back and take us on to the next stage to the next level and again thank you I want to thank the A team that is here every Sunday every week 52 weeks out of the year I want to thank God for, amen, this young lady that's coming down, Sister Jessica Gillis, who's our Assistant Financial Secretary. I want to thank God for Sister Nicole Williams, who is our Financial Secretary, I go to for everything. I want to thank God for Minister Chris Griffin and Minister Antonio Tace. I want to thank God for Sister Frida, go get them, Sergeant Vinegar, amen. I want to thank God for her. I want to thank God for Sister Marita Cole. We call her the rabbit. Amen. She's always moving, doing something, shaking and moving. And Deacon Tony and even Brother Wesley. Amen. Brother Wesley. Stand up, Brother Glenn. Brother Wesley. He comes every Sunday. Let your church say amen. Amen. I want to thank God for Brother, Brother Wesley. He's not an officer. He's not a deacon. Amen. But he comes to support the church. Amen. He's here for Sunday school. And man, it touches my heart to see young men like you who support the church. Amen. And of course, uh, Brother Rick Cromwell. I don't know if Rick's here yet. But Brother Rick Cromwell, I want to acknowledge him. And our musicians are here. Amen. Today, they have a special guest. They're looking at me like, Reverend, we're ready to roll. So I'm going to let them roll. But I wanted to acknowledge these people in person because why are you at home, at work? Get your cup of coffee, right there relaxing in your home, regardless of the climate or the weather. This group here, in the midst of the pandemic, has held this church together. This group, right, just this core group, has thought of my problem. <laughs> to assist this pastor. And so that's how we do what we do. It's not all me. I couldn't do it without them, and guess what? They couldn't do it without me. And guess what? We couldn't do it without you. Amen. Oh, bless his holy name. So we thank God for you, and I'm done. I'll turn it over to Sister Jessica Gillis. All right, for our next thing, we'll have an opening song um, by our music department, and then we'll have prayer by Deacon Tony. Amen. All right, praise the Lord, everybody. All right, then let's submit it for somebody else that's in praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, there's some few people in here. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we're excited to celebrate 22 years. I've only been here for a couple Sundays, but I'm so excited for what God has done to do. Are you? So why don't you stand on your feet, give God some praise, and remember as much as I Why don't you join us?
land to see one more day. Thank you for letting it rise up. Thank you that you allowed things to see and unseen pass by us. As we come to this 22nd anniversary of Pastor, let us be grateful that we, that you brought us this far, that you let this church survive in a tough time, in a, in a dangerous, in a, in, a, in a violent time, that we're able to keep doing your message, that we're able to keep leading you in the right, leading our people in the right way. Help us become better, stronger, and wiser, and more loving. Guide us in the right way, Lord, that we can help those who are listening to the sound of our voice. Let us remember that it's you only that we're here to serve, that we're here because you made a way out of no way. Bless everyone by the sound of my voice, bless all our youth, bless our elderly, and let us know that we still love you as God loves us. And guide us in a special way, Lord, that we can be more of the people that you want us to be, not the people that we think we ought to be. Just so good to be here, Lord. And just good to hear and to be in this church one more time. As I come to the close, I want to say thank you and say God bless all of us.
And whereas Pastor Tyler is the Midwest Regional President of the Progressional, Progressive National Baptist Convention Community, he is a member of the Board of Trustees of Simmons College of Kentucky and a respected national leader throughout the denomination. <clears throat> and whereas Pastor Tyler has helped lead the community through, pandem through the pandemic, and whereas Dr. Tyler and his wife, Veronica Jackson Tyler, have four children, Keith Jr., Chiquita, Turkisha, and Journey. Now, therefore, I, Linda Gordon, Mayor of Lexington, do hereby give thanks for the leadership of Pastor Keith G. Tyler Sr. and declare Sunday, February 28, 2021, Pastor Keith G. Tyler Sr. Day in Lexington, signed by the mayor herself. All right, for our um, order of service, we now will have announcements and the pastoral given by Frida, and then we'll have an introduction of our guest, uh, music, our, a musical guest uh, by Sister Nico. Uh, 
uh, anniversary celebration as best as we could. Um, today, after Brother Barnes uh, renders a selection, uh, we have a special guest here. We have the ladies from Antioch who's going to come and give us a rendition of their song in their own way. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know every time I get ready to get on this mic and say praise the Lord, but the highest praise of praise the Lord because we got a praise you know. But I've only been here for uh, probably going to what, about a month now. And I've just been so excited to see what God has done. And the Pastor had asked me to sing a song, and I learned it, but I did get my track this morning. But I want to dedicate this song to him. Because in 22 years, you can go through so much, you know, and you can have people go, people come, uh, things happen, you know, with your own personal, you know, being a pastor is a lot. Um, so I just wanted to dedicate this song to him um, for 22 years of service. God bless you, and I thank you for the opportunity. Um, so just bear with me just a little bit.
content of the biblical narrative. Verse 1. If you're not too mean to look in your Bible, when they still this church come around, you're going to be looking at them very closely. Hello, somebody. Let's see if we can look a little closer to one who provides, even when there is no stimulus checks. How many of you know God is the real stimulus? Amen. Joshua chapter 2, verse 1. I'm going to be reading from the contemporary version of the Bible. So it may read a little different, but the content is still the same. The message is still the same. And then we're going to journey down to Joshua 2 and verse 18. And just keep your Bible open. We're going to walk through several passages of Scripture this morning. <coughs> and um, to God be the glory. Joshua chapter 2 verse 1 says, Joshua chose two men as spies and sent them from their camp at Achaia with these instructions. Go across the river and find out as much as you can about the whole region, especially about the town of Jericho. Verse 18, same passage. Chapter 2, verse 18. The text says, You must tie this red rope on your window. When we attack, and your father and mother and your brothers and everyone else in your family must be here with you. <clears throat> now in Joshua 6, chapter 6, and I want to encourage you to read the narratives in between in your quiet time. Joshua 6, 25. They killed everyone, men and women, young and old, everyone except Rahab and the others in our household. They even killed every cow, sheep, and donkey. Now I want you to notice in Matthew, go to Matthew, chapter 1. If you get to Matthew, chapter 1, I want you to look at a very interesting footnote in Matthew 1, verse number 5. Round Abinadab, Nashon, Salmon, Boaz, his mother was Rahab. Obed, his mother was Ruth, Jesse, and King David. Verse 1 said in Matthew. Jesus Christ came from the family of King David and also from the family of Abraham. And this is the list of his ancestors. Again, verse 5 says, Ram, Aminadad, Nishan, Salmon, Boaz, his mother was Rahab. Somebody say Rahab. Rahab. All right. Hebrews, last passage. Because I'm going to be preaching and teaching. And as I preach and teach, I want you to see the application in the scripture so you don't think I'm making something up. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 31. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 31. If you're not too mean, look at your Bible. Rahab had been a prostitute. But she had faith and welcomed the spy. So she wasn't killed with the people who disobeyed. So for the next little while, <clears throat> I've been preaching for the last three Sundays on the general heading, the burden and blessings of blackness. The burden and blessings of blackness. And so we want to conclude this Sunday with this thought, she closed shop. Well. 
Somebody say she closed shop. Rahab closed shop. It makes some sense later on down the road. Just pray with me. Rahab closed shop. this place. 
place of ill report to be the safe house to hide the spies of Israel, God's people. I wish I had a praying church. And may I suggest to you that this particular place of business, this particular home of harvest, this particular Madame of the Old Testament, this particular service that Rahab rendered yes. was not for cheap $2 tricks. <laughs> Come closer. I am of the opinion that her business attracted the upper class. Yes. The noble, the politicians, people who sat in seats of authority, the who's who of Jericho. Frequently, yeah, indulge in sensual pleasures and other behavior of illicit conduct mixed with drugs and the drink of your choice, and they pay big time for this entertainment. Top notch clientele at Rehab's Hotel Lodge. Her house, notice here, according to the biblical narrative, and you read it for yourself. Joshua, you'll find that her particular place of geographical location um, was not in the bottom of the hill. She didn't live at the bottom of the hill. She lived in the clefts of the hill. Uh -huh. So her place was in the top of the hill. Verse 6 of chapter 2, if you're not too mean to look at your Bible, the Bible says that she hid her spies on her roof in stalks of flax. And flax was the most important plant fiber in biblical times. It was used to make linen. It was used as a food supplement. And today people use flax seed. You would know it as omega-3 and fiber. For health benefits. I pretend, preach Chief Tyler, not here I'm teaching, that Rahab's Inn was a place of various sorts. I believe that Rahab had her own Victoria's Secrets clothes in mind. Uh -huh. After all, she is a businesswoman. She is definitely in the right place for it. She is definitely in the right business for it. Because broke, busted, and disgusted people. Couldn't afford stalks of flax. Poor folk lived in the streets, in the slums, in the lower places, in houses made of stone walls and roofs made of stucky and dirt floors. And some of the houses of those in biblical times didn't even have roofs. They would use roofs as a driver, driver clothes to sleep on. They didn't have the luxuries of what me and you had. We pray and say, Lord, I thank you for the roof over my head and the floor under my feet. But in those days, many of the poor people didn't have a roof nor a floor. Their floor was a dirt floor. I can't hear nobody out there. And they had a small covering, and the small covering provided some shelter in the midst of storms and rain. But in essence, the poor folk were poor. Yes. So for Rahab to have, yeah, Stalks of flax. One might indicate that a whole roof was made out of flax. She takes the spy. The spies come to spy out Jericho. Joshua has sent them to spy out the land. And when the spies arrive in Jericho, the Bible says she hid them, you read it, on a rooftop in stalks of flax. Now, the reason I'm painting this morbid picture. Because upon hearing, somebody say upon hearing. Upon hearing, the word was out that there were invaders and spies within the wall city. And the king of Jericho sent the CIA agents of Jericho to Rahab's house. When they came to her house, knocked on the door, they said, We have a subpoena, we have a search warrant to search your house. Rahab said, well, you can look around all you want, but the people that you're looking for are not here. No, they're not here, but my question is, why were the CIA agents of Jericho, I wish I had a praying church, why did they go to Rahab's house? I contend it was no 
us about the city of Jericho that if you want to know what's happening behind closed doors under the table, be your secret sins. If you want to know about anything that is classified, you go to Rehabs. If you're a newcomer and you're a pastor by you get into the city with or without a city pass, no doubt you would stop by Rehab's spot. And y'all, y'all familiar with the word, the terminology, the spot. Amen. When folk want to sneak around and look up, they say, meet me at the spot. When folk want to tip, dip, and trip in the secret confines of their own, yeah, debauchery, they will say, I'll see you at the spot. If they want to talk about what took place and how well and grand the moment was, they say, we show who up at the Ain't God all right. Rahab <laughs> was highlighted as the spot of Jericho. Now, the backdrop of this text. The God of Israel had performed the miraculous. Mm -hmm. The Red Sea had been parted. The people of God had been delivered from Egypt. And they're now marching through the wilderness. God has performed miracles after miracles. He has turned, hold on, hold on, hold on. He has turned stone into bread. He has, he has turned dry places into water. He has done the miracles. He has performed miracles after miracles. He has defeated enemies. He has wiped out. Inhabitants that attack Israel. They have walked through the wilderness and traveled for 40 years. And the Bible says that their sandals didn't even wear out. No need for shoe stores and no need to go and change shoes because God preserved their shoes. And I'm preaching to somebody out there that can testify to the fact that God is able to preserve you. They have defeated Pharaoh, enemy after enemy. And now the people of Israel are headed to overtake Jericho. Mm -hmm. No one had ever done that. It was a fortified city. No one had ever penetrated through the walled city of Jericho. But after they heard that the God Israel had Jericho on his hit list. I wish I had a friend too. They feared the inevitable. Rahab had heard the news. The Joshua, the leader of Israel, was around the corner. Rahab had heard that no life would be spared. No army can withstand the Most High God. No wall of protection can keep Jehovah God out. Rahab had heard. She had heard that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that parted the Red Sea, the God, Jehovah God, the awesomeness of God, was coming to wipe out Jericho. She had heard that Jericho would be destroyed, and God had instructed, watch this, Joshua to lead his people in the conquest. God told him, say, go and possess the land. It's yours. And you know, it's interesting how God will open up the Red Sea and make waves out of no ways for us. And all we got to do is just go over and possess it. He says, I want y'all to go possess it. It's yours. It's a land flowing with milk and honey. I'm going to give you houses you never build. I'm going to give you wine presses you never had to be. I'm going to give you vegetation. And I'm going to give you the abundance of life. I got people over there that's been working and building and developing for you. All you got to do is go over and possess the land, but you have to go through Jericho. Go and check things out. So Joshua sent two spies. And this ain't the first time that Joshua sent these spies out, and when he sends the spies out, he tells them to go and survey, yeah, the region and check out Jericho. Backdrop would have us to know that after the Israelites had crossed the Jordan, they camped at Gilgal, which was near Jericho. The Bible would have us to know that once they crossed over, the Sister Free, they
but you need some walls to come tumbling down in your life. And I want you to know that God is able. But I want you to know this, that if you want your walls, yeah, I'm going to teach you tomorrow, preacher, to come tumbling down. The first thing is order. When the people of God came out, Lord have mercy, of Egypt, they were in Oh, they were. 
said, all I can say is this is my anniversary. Brother Shane, I, I had people to say things to me and to make promises with their tongues and to say certain things with their mouths. But their heart was not with me. Thank you. 
impacted in all of my life. Thank you, Lord. I know you did it. God said, yeah, I did it, but you had to get some things in order. And God, all right. So I've got something to shout about, Brother Chris. The Israelites are now into the city. And this is where I drop my anchor, and I'll bid you farewell. Chapter 10, chapter, chapter 2, verse 10. Rahab acknowledges the Lord God of Israel, chief pastor. The one who dried up the Red Sea. Her expression of faith is given in chapter 2, verse 10 in the right Bible. She says, has given. She speaks in the future tense. She says to the spies, I've heard about your God. And God, all right. He is the Lord of Israel. He's the one that dried up the Red Sea. And I've heard that he has given you the land. In other words, he is saying, it's going to come to pass. That tells me what God wills. She has regarded as already done. You missed your shot again. Whatever God has willed, you ought to declare it's already done. Amen. Whatever the word declares, you ought to shout, it's already done. Satan. 
Amen. We have those that continue to give and support the church. Oh, but this is your day. Oh, we're here for this day. Let's come with our report. Amen. Those who. Come on, come on, come on, y'all. Oh, let's go. Let's go.
those who give online because we have people that sow their seed to the church. Amen. Online. Somebody say online. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Sister Jessica. All right, we have we have Brother Sean Lumbus, Sister Marion Hall, Sister Rayden Ian Allen, Sister Kimberly Sickles, Sister Royce Connor, Brother Aaron Yates, Sister Maddie Yates, Mr. and Mark, Mr. and Miss Mark Stella Rowan, Sister Kelly Rose, and Sister Frances Mother. Amen. Let's give God praise for all of them. Thank you so much. Bless you real good at this time. We're speaking. Amen. Antonio Williams to come, and as he prepares to come to say the prayer, and then we're going to have Nico Neal to come and give the final comments, and then we're going to conclude. Amen. I try to be finished by hour before 1230, so we're right on point. Amen. Right on point of our time. I don't rush when I preach. I don't rush when I preach. Because I've learned we'll take our time to do whatever we want to do. Amen, somebody. Amen. Whatever it is we're going to do, we're going to take our time for it. Amen. So I don't rush when I preach and teach. Come on, Nathan. Bless you, man. Good afternoon, church. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord and our wife, God, we come once again to say thank you. Thank you for all those who gave. Bless those who were able to give and help this money be used for uplifting the kingdom. And all thanks you pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you real good. This concludes our worship service. Come on. Uh, Sister Jessica, and then final remarks quickly. Uh, any final remarks? I want y'all to come and just have a comment or two, and then we'll be on the way. I know it's been tedious and challenging for you all, but anytime you support the prophet, expect some challenges. Amen. Just smile in Jesus' name and keep it moving. In Jesus' name. There you go. Uh, I just, again, want to say thank you. Thank you for everybody, all the musicians that came forth this month to make this possible. Uh, all the, uh, my team that helped me uh, to do what, I, do what we did this, this, this year for the pastor. And then I also just want to thank the pastor for allowing us to, to put this together for you the best as we knew that we, we could. Thank you. All right. All right, now we will have the benediction and directions. Uh, again, we was loading at the front of uh, Robertson Street and coming all the way around to go past the front of the church for the parade. Amen. God bless you. There will be some people I've heard to help assist us out there. But if nothing else, just remember when you come into Robertson Street, don't turn like you're coming to the church. We want you to keep straight all the way down Robertson Street. Come around by the park so that it won't hinder traffic on Marcel's and people who live here in this particular community can have access to get in and out. Once again, as soon as you turn in on the Robinson Street, when you turn in coming into the community, instead of turning left to come to the church on Jane, we want you to keep straight. Go all the way down to the end, amen, of Speedy Hill, past the park, and come around in a circle, amen, and we will be outside. We'll be serving the Lord's Supper to the members of Antioch that so chooses. And if those of you, when you come by, want to share in the Lord's Supper, you're welcome to do that. Amen. Amen. All right. All minds are clear. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for Jesus being our sender, for the message being the gospel, for our target being the lost, the least, and the left out. Let the church say amen, amen. and amen. God bless you.